Okay, welcome to another round of stories making headlines in the current affairs and also in the entertainment industry. This is the Buzz UG. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. Subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, don't forget to follow me the other side of TikTok. I'm using Melads Milo, aka Fula. Ugandans on a different social media platforms are so disappointed in Uganda police for not arresting this so-called pastor identified as Brother Innocent Uganda on TikTok. Videos of this man acting to be healing people have circulated so big time on different social media platforms but they really look planned and uh, Ugandans have not believed him and so they want Uganda police to step in and arrest him immediately. He publicly puts his hands inside women's private parts and pretends to be picking some things from there. Despite Ugandans complaining so big time, Uganda police is still quiet on this guy. We hope they are just waiting for the right time to have him arrested. Now, away from that, uh, social media reports have indicated that over the weekend, musician Apus was introduced by radio presenter Prim to her parents and uh, Ugandans have been congratulating them so big time. The details of this story are still scanty, but other reports have indicated that this was just a video shoot. There was nothing like an introduction. Yes, yeah, so this is a story that I'm following up very closely and I'll be keeping you posted right here on The Buzz UG. Now, away from that, Uganda she cranes have recorded their best ever finish at the Netball World Cup 2023 in South Africa and they were selected as Africa's best team. The ladies are now number 5 in the whole world according to the rankings. Ugandans on social media platforms have congratulated them for the great work done and making Uganda so proud. Congratulations to the she cranes. Now, after Clever J put up a very successful concert at Lugogo Cricket Oval, Evelyn Love has also cried out to the event's promoters to stage for her a concert before her death. Evelyn Love over the weekend expressed her desire to see her fans gather to remember her before she dies. She added that while she would like to perform at a number of venues across the country, she would like to first concentrate on her home cities of Kampala, Michiana and Masaka. We hope and pray that her dream comes to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Over the weekend, a marine police boat capsized on Lake Victoria in the ongoing rescue mission to recover the bodies of missing people. Uh, the deputy police spokesperson, Kampala Metropolitan, Mr. Luko Wesijire, said the boat capsized due to strong winds on the lake. However, the good news is that all the five marines who were on board were rescued alive. Owesijire promised to provide more details as they become available. Now, police in Jinja are investigating the unfortunate incident of a patient who committed suicide by hanging at Jinja Referral Hospital. Uh, the deceased has been identified as Michael Mukulu, 50 years. Doctors at the hospital said Michael had a chronic condition which was being managed, but they can't tell what exactly pushed him to commit suicide. This is so sad. May God have mercy on him. Well, away from that, police in Tunkamo is hunting for Moses to Shabe, 40 years, for killing another man over being in a relationship with his wife. The deceased has been identified as Danson Kamugisha and Samson Kasasira, Rizi Regional Police Spokesperson, said they have launched investigations into this matter and hopefully the suspect will be arrested very soon and face murder charges in court. May he so rest in peace. Now, President Museveni has assigned General Mohonzi Kanerugaba a new job of overseeing the importation of military weapons from Russia. Mohonzi Kanerugaba is the senior presidential advisor on special operations and uh, President Museveni's decision to appoint him as the overseer of the military procurements from Russia comes months after he tasked him to investigate reports of corruption within the Ministry of Defense. The new assignment means General Mohonzi Kanerugaba joins his father in having the final say on the military weapons to be purchased from Russia. All this is according to the Grapevine Uganda. 
Well, the Mayanja family is back in the news again. Uh, there is this video circulating so big time on different social media platforms. Uh, legendary Dr. J. Chameleon romantically hugging his brother Wizo Manizo. Uh, people are saying men don't hug like this. But a big section of Ugandans, according to the comments, seem to suggest that there is no problem in this video. They are just happy brothers and they brotherly love each other. You know, some people have started relating this hug to the kisses they publicly had before. But um, some Ugandans are saying, nope, there is no problem in this video. I don't know what you think. And uh, the comment section is very open for you. You can put what you think right there in the comment section. Well, that is uh, the latest update I have for you right here on The Buzz UG. Uh, my name is uh, Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Uh, don't forget to follow me the other side of TikTok. I'm uh, Melads Milo, aka Fuller. It is a bye for now. Thank you. Audio jungle.